A constraint is going to remove one or more degrees of freedom of motion from a rigid body. A rigid body has six degrees of freedom, three linear position, and three angular rotation. For this video, we're going to look at the hinge constraint. A hinge constrains the body's three position axes and two angular rotation axes, leaving one degree of freedom of motion, a rotation around the hinge axis, which by default is the z-axis. We can adjust the position of the rigid body in relation to the hinge with the position 1 attribute and the position of the hinge in world space with the position 2 attribute. I'm going to move the world space position up 4 units and move the rigid body 8 units away from the hinge. We now have a pendulum type motion. The world box attribute limits motion to a defined cube. By setting it to zero, we remove the bounds and allow the rigid object to swing fully. We can limit the range of motion around the hinge axis by adjusting the lower and upper limit attributes. These attributes are in degrees. By default, the lower limit is greater than the upper limit, and this disables the limits. However, if we adjust so that the lower limit is less than the upper limit, our rotation is now limited. I'm going to put it back to the default value so the limits are disabled. Let's try and build something more complex. The internet has informed me that the name of that ball swinging pendulum thing is called the Newton's Cradle. We're going to try and make the two ball version of it. So to do this, we need to create another hinge and rigid body by duplicating the first one. And then I need to adjust the position one and position two attributes and set it two units to the right of the first grab it with the mouse, and let it rip. Ah, uh, well, doesn't quite look right. By default, the gravity attribute is set to negative 9.8 units per second per second on the y-axis. If we think of the units as meters, then this approximates the gravitational acceleration at the surface of the Earth. Our spheres have a radius of one unit, but we're trying to simulate something with a radius of maybe a few centimeters rather than a meter. So we can either scale the spheres down or increase the force of gravity, which is the easier option. Additionally, we can adjust some of the fizz body attributes, such as setting linear damping to zero, which removes the simulated air resistance, and increase the restitution value so that the balls retain more energy when they collide. All right, that's looking better, but it could still use some work we'll have to use some more tricks. What I'd like to try is to temporarily lock the hinge of the moving ball when it collides with the non-moving ball using the hinge limit attributes. In order to do that we need to know when the balls collide so let's enable collision reporting on one of the rigid bodies. This will send out a collisions dictionary out the dump out of the rigid body whenever it is colliding with another rigid body. The collisions dictionary describes the collision in detail. However, in this case, we don't need all that information. All we need to know is that a collision happened. So we can simply trigger a bang whenever we receive a collision notification. Unfortunately, every time the balls collide, there may be more than one collision notification that is sent out. So we need to create a simple logical structure using max objects so that we only receive one bang for each collision. So let's use the one bang object and connect our toggle to that. This will prevent another collision from triggering the bang within 100 milliseconds of the first one. After reinitializing the one bang, we get a single bang every time the objects collide, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to decrease the force of gravity to slow down our collisions while I continue to work on this. When you send the same value to the lower limit and the upper limit, the hinge will be locked in place at that angle. So we're just going to lock it into place at angle zero, and then a short time later, unlock it. and we're going to use a toggle connected to a gate to determine which hinge gets these attributes modified. So I'm going to turn collision reporting back on. Increase the gravity. And voila, Newton's Cradle. 